It is Wednesday, and we're at Lakeland Wildlife Oasis. It's our week off, well, a few days off, isn't it? It's your week off. Yeah, it's my week off. Jem has got the next three days off, and we're going to the latest for a couple of days. So we thought we'd drop, drop in at the Wildlife Oasis for a little bit. Cool, the giant pelamide. Pelamide? Look at the pelamide. The pelamide's on the move. The millipede is on the move. I struggle with two legs. I can hear something. A little passage. Mmm, that's cool. Yep. Wow. Another little one here. It's a gecko. Oh, that's nice, aren't Something new, we have some Java sparrows. We like them. And the axolotl are all awake and swimming around. That's a nice word to say that. Axolotl. Axolotl. It's nice to come and see them in the daytime one. Just to show those that is it thing that night. Oh yeah. So we have another pottero and we have a pair. I think now is it? No. These are a cheeky. <laughs> so we have hung over chinchillas. Thank you. Look very soft. Spiny mice everywhere. Demo's right. There's spiny mice everywhere. It's a flying visit, but we're checking out the outside too. Oh, oh someone's seen dinner. Caution, cranes. Cranes. One crane, many cranes. It's actually a really nice day today, isn't it? Bearing in mind it's February the 1st. Yeah, Patagonian Mara, not in a chimp enclosure. Just seen some heads peeking over this wall. Hey, me cats. You sound like Archie. Probably gonna have to. Yeah, you're probably gonna have to trust us on this one, but there's a snow leopard above us. You can see it better this. Oh yeah, the sun's really in the way, isn't yeah. it? Apologies for the amount of sun. There he is. Here's Tara. They're back to us. Not the best point of view from. We shall now play nothing because I don't know how to play this thing. Rapturous applause. Gemma, yeah. you missed my um, xylophone concerto. Your xylophone concerto? Yeah. Oh, I think I caught that on video, but Gemma just spotted a nut hatch in the and tree. A chaffinch chased it. Yeah, and then a chaffinch chased it off, typical. Yeah, Trees are wild with birds around here. Yeah, this is where they normally feed them from, so it probably makes sense. There's a couple of feeders around. But it seems to be like a little tradition for us that every time we go on holiday in the UK we find a nut hatch somewhere. <laughs> yeah. So we've continued the tradition. So in the interest of providing updates on, on enclosure design and enclosures and things in the, in the collections of visit, here's the new fossil enclosure that's currently being built and it looks awesome. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, and this is apparently going to have indoor viewing for the fossil as well, which is cool. Which might be here at the side. <laughs> but yeah, we're really looking forward to this. Very cool. Oh, what's Gemma spotted? I'm spotted a Purdy looking at someone. Hi Purdy! <laughs> Not so hard that way. This is a really cool enclosure. 
Uh, one more new thing. There's a oh, pair of red billed blue but you Yeah, you've got a pair of red billed blue eyes now. That's not easy to say. And That's the whistle, the isn't it? They go. They go. Yeah. What's a chest to do anyway? <laughs> it wouldn't be a trip to Lakeland without some adjustment. Wildebeest from Greenland. Polar bear, Wales. Red squirrel is now native to the sea. And this gorilla lives wow. up there. So we had a spot of dinner, just a toasty. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And like five pounds for a toasty with salad. Really good quality. And we're gonna have another look, quick walk around and then we're gonna continue our journey on up to the Lake District. Which if I can, I might try to time lapse using the GoPro. But no promises. Because <laughs> I've forgotten. <laughs> yeah. Because I've forgotten anything to attach the GoPro to the car. Pav's still sat up above the walkthrough, but he's watching the sheep in the field over there. And who can blame him? Oops, didn't like that one. Hello Gemma. Hello Mark. We're here. We are. And this is our room. It's actually really nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And it is a light view room. So down there is Windermere. Some people complain that like the lake view isn't really a lake view. Well, it is, but that's, the lake. that's like a huge amount of the lake. <laughs> and we can and see our car. We can see our car, yeah. Which is over down there somewhere. Yeah, what the fuck do you think it's about this room? Mm. They were the pictures that were on our bathroom wall when we first moved into our house. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember them? Yeah. And you can look out this window as well. And see the lake. That's pretty cool. And we have facilities. We do have a spa bath. Oh, very nice. And lots of toiletries. Smashing. Shower gelling. Conditioning, shampoo. So this hotel it was on an offer, it was a special two night offer is £149 a night which isn't, it's pretty much the going rate for around here I think um, and this room because it's light view was another £20 on top of that so it was £169 but on top of that you also get £20 off anything you spend in the restaurant or in the bar each so it'll be £40 if we do decide to have a, a meal here tonight oh, or tomorrow that's very nice. You could do some correspondence though. <laughs> mm. We'll have to get, there was a typewriter in the uh, reception. <laughs> we'll bring that up and you can sit there and write like um, murder mystery novels. Nothing else at the lake. Mm. 
I was already uh, investigating the res uh, restaurant here, the menu. We have eaten here in the past, it's nice. We have, yeah. We got, I think we got a discounted meal last time. Well, we, 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 we got a bottle of wine, didn't we? Was it in a bottle of wine? Yeah. And we have, of course, tea and coffee maker facilities, as is custom near in hotels. And we have lots of storage by the company Hampshire. Wow, that sun came out bright. Did, didn't they? <laughs> oh, look at that rug with the fox, is that? Oh, yeah. Fox rug. So we are walking down to the lake, into the town where there's places to eat and places to have a drink, and a chocolate shop that Gemma might want to visit <laughs> at some point. Um, we just walked past an entire coach load of Chinese tourists. Or possibly Who, Japanese. Or poss I think they were Chinese. Um, but they were very eagerly taking photographs of themselves around a, a okay. red post box, which was really cute. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I do like about Windermere and Bowness is they have, still have a classic three screen cinema. So already Gemma's found the chocolate shop and I've found a shop that sells beer and cheese. Win. Each other. And they're opposite each other. Win. So we can have chocolate, then cheese and bit. No, that's a bad combination. Chocolate and cheese <laughs> is a winning combination. So. Chocolate, cheese and beer. Is that the unholy trinity? Yeah. Beatrix Potter and Yeah, that's the world of Beatrix Potter over there. The nursery, the shop there, but the, the actual museum's down the little entryway, I think. We've never been. <laughs> I'm not big into it. I'm not big into it. Yeah, we've been in the shop, but that was further around. I'm not big into Beatrix Potter myself. Sounds like something you'd probably be more into. I like it. I like Peter Rabbit. Okay. It's animals, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not so you found Disney things. Oh, there's that one there as well. Oh, that's cool. We used to come here quite a lot, like once every couple of years. So it's kind of reminding ourselves of where places are. Yeah, it was our first ever holiday. Shortly after we met, which reminded ourselves of all the places we used to buy things from, like chocolate and cheese. It's the same gallery look, but it was on the corner. We bought some. We've been in there, but I think we bought the cats from the one further back. I think it was because we have seen them in that window, and there were only ones that had them, didn't have them, and the centre's over there, and they had an extra one that we hadn't seen before. Oh, okay. <laughs> So we ended, that's why we ended up with four, not three. It's quite hard to do any vlogging in, with streets being this tight and yeah. narrow. So we're down near the lake now. Slightly more touristy down here. You can get tickets for the boats here. And the boats go up to Ambleside and down to the lakeside. To lakeside and Hatherthwaite Railway is down the other side, yeah. A little vintage railway steam train. I don't think it runs in the winter though. We always come off season because okay. it's quieter here. You come here in summer and it's absolute bedlam. Lots of swans. You've got that picture of me, you have me absolutely surrounded by birds. Yeah, and like ducks trying to eat food off you and off your bag and all sorts. And food off you. We just put you on the floor and scattered seed on you and yeah, pigeons came. Them, <laughs> They're all around me. Yeah. Swans. Many, many swans. And geese. Tell they know where the eating's good. Oh, a white tail. I don't want to, to self drive a motorboat. Okay. There's one of the cruise boat thingies. And there's another two. A couple more swans. Some of the tourists are very, being very brave with swans. Yeah. They're losing arm. But, kind of sneaking along the side of the now currently closed pub to um, have a nice look at the view. Although if I get too close to the edge, there's nothing falling, stopping me from having a quick swim. There we go. That's really quite pretty. It's, it's kind of um, a contrast of really pretty and natural and pub that's not currently open. <laughs> so we're making plans for what we do tomorrow which is a minute looking like we're going to get the boat up to Ambleside, have some lunch and possibly a beer or two. Mm. 
have to do some research and like what pubs are around this. Yeah, that's true, yeah. <laughs> it's been a while since we've been over that way. Gemma spotted some slightly more uh, elaborate ducks. Water birds, Gusanda, apparently. Slightly got more that right? elaborate ducks. Yeah, look at them, it's got like a, it's got a bit of a, a hairdo going on. Mice and mice have to get up before we go home. Yeah, nice Gemma the likes fireplace. the mice. Fine. And you like the cat, but the cat's a little over her price range yeah. at the minute. How about a jacket? I was in need of a new jacket because every time I put a pound coin in this jacket, it disappears. The long tail tits piece of wool. But we can get Wendy's to do better. <laughs> 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 I know the artist. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it started to go dark now. We just went to. What was that pub? The Flying Pig. The Flying Pig. We had a couple of pints in there. We're going to try the hole in the wall, which is apparently. The, the Look oldest the pub in... Look how cute these streets Yeah, they are awesome, aren't they? This is apparently the oldest pub in the area. So I'm going to give this one a try for a pint and then we're going to grab some food. I heard birdies. Blackbirds, what were they? Mmm. I can smell an open fire. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. This is awesome. We've never been down here in all the times we've been here. Wow. This is a pub. Oldest tavern in Bonas, frequented oh, by Charles that. Dickens. Dell's chickens. Oh, it's a 1612, that's 1612 traditional coaching inn with links to Dickens and it is, the ceiling is amazing, the carvings on the ceiling here are amazing, it's got chamber pots all over the ceiling and milk jugs and the stuffed animals, it's a proper old English mm -hmm. coaching yeah. inn. Toffee apple mould cider. I have a toffee yeah. apple mould cider, it's a hot cider and then it's got a shot of toffee apple vodka in it. So we didn't film a whole lot in there because it was a proper traditional British pub, wasn't it? And yeah, it was quite dark and it was busy. Yeah, and you'd, I don't, I don't, I'm not a big fan of filming in like little pubs like that. So we didn't, but it was really good though. Really mm. nice little yeah, atmosphere in there. Nice atmosphere. And atmosphere. some interesting artifacts on the walls. English decoration. Yeah. Lots of stuffed animals. Yeah. So if you you go to a place like the pub on I Drive and they're, <laughs> and they're like a traditional British pub. <laughs> that was more of a traditional British a traditional, pub. A traditional British pub is about 500 years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was probably a bit older than most pubs would go to. So we're going to go and grab a bite to eat now. We kill ourselves up this hill. Yeah. Unfortunately, they didn't build Britain flat. <laughs> <laughs> Especially not the lakes. Not the lakes, no. It's very dark now. We just ate Italian, which was nice actually. Yeah, very nice. We weren't 100% sure when we got in there, but it actually turned out to be really nice and the staff were really friendly. And the food was good. It was? That was cheap? Yeah. Yeah, it was like two mains, two starters. And a drink. Here. And yeah, two, bo two pints of Berra Moretti, which may have been four bottles, but... <laughs> but yeah, it was like just under 40 pounds. And this is our hotel which is the Craig Manor, which is somewhere we've always stayed when we've come here. It has its own restaurant, which we're hoping to eat at tomorrow, called Paisley's. You can see there on the left. And it's... It's a lovely old building, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little bit it's a little bit rickety inside and squeaky. But it's clean. But it's clean, and it's a nice place to stay, and the staff are friendly. So what more can you ask for? And it also has a bar and a beer guy. We can cross here, hon. No, yeah, it's the best place to cross because you get a view of both the roads. And with that, we're going to go and have a glass of red wine and in a nap room. for the night, aren't we? Yeah. In our room, yeah, we're not going to nap in the bar, that would be <laughs> really bad. Look at that. Hi everyone, it's Mark here. We really hope you enjoyed the vlog. Please remember to give us a like and a quick subscribe to be the first to know when our next video goes live. Don't worry, it's completely free. And I promise I'm not reading this off a screen. Also, check out some of our Florida playlists where you can lose yourself in the joy that is Orlando, Disney, and me getting lost and being told off by Jem. Have fun, and we don't have a catchphrase. See ya!